Recently, a friend of mine asked if I was able to convert her dining table into a coffee table, and she's just dropped it off at my house, so that's what this video is going to be about. The table was disassembled when it arrived. There was a metal tabletop in white, two square leg frames and two apron rails made of solid oak, and the nuts and bolts which hold the table frame together. The first thing I did was to reassemble the table to help me figure out what options I had and how best to go about adjusting the height of the table. The label on the underside of the tabletop shows this table is by Habitat from a range called Kilo. So the challenge is to adjust the height of this table from 725 millimeters to 40 centimeters for use as a coffee table. And I want to do that without losing these nice bridle joints which are at the bottom of the table frame. There are bridle joints on the top of the table frame too, but those ones aren't visible when the table is assembled because the tabletop slots over them. So having thought this through, I think I've got two options. I can either cut off the bottom of the table frame and then I could rejoin the apron rail higher up the table frame to here and pretending that this is the bottom apron rail, I could then assemble this by drilling a pocket hole through here and into this piece and assembling it with glue and a screw. And on the side of the frame, I could cut a new bridle joint and insert a wedge of oak in there so that effectively it's an artificial joint, purely for aesthetics only. The second option would be to keep the bottom half of the table and lose the top half. I would then need to create these holes with the threaded insert in for the bolt further down the table frame here. And this threaded insert looks like it's removable because it has a slot in it, which is good. And then I could add the apron rail simply by screwing through this side because this isn't going to be visible, it will be covered by the tabletop. I would also need to recreate this small groove in the side of the frame which the tabletop slots into. And I'm starting to think that second option is definitely the lesser of the two evils, so that's the one I'm going to go with. So now I'm just going to remove all of the threaded inserts. There is a second hole here at the top of the frame which I believe would have been used for dowels but there aren't any dowels with this table so I'm guessing they were never in use and to be honest they're not really needed. Now I can cut the table legs to the right height at the mitre saw and I'm going to use a stop block here so that all of my cuts are consistent. Over there is the bottom of the table legs, which will make up the new table frame. And over here is the top of the table legs. And I'll need this piece here to make up the top of the new table frame. But before I cut that free, it's critical that I take down the measurements for the exact placement of this hole so that I can replicate it later. So I'm going to use the calipers to take down the measurements. So the center of the hole is about 16 and a half millimeters from the top and 26 millimeters from the edge of the frame. And I can also measure the size of this hole and it looks like it's about 11 millimeters. And finally, I can measure the depth of the hole, which is 21 millimeters. I made a quick sketch to help me to later recreate the hole in the correct position. I'm just going to make a cut here so that I can remove this piece, which won't be needed in the frame. I've got my panel cutting jig set up on my table saw, and this piece will be waste, and I need to line up the blade so that I cut on this side of the mark. So here's the bottom of the leg, and this piece should now fit snugly inside, which it does. And now I can use my diagram to mark up the exact position of the hole for the threaded insert. 
So I'll set my calipers to 26 millimeters and scribe a line. And then I can set the calipers to 16 and a half millimeters and scribe another line. And now I'm just going to use an awl to start a hole where I need to drill. I was going to drill these holes on the pillar drill, but because the pillar drill table is so small, it's a little bit awkward to hold such a large frame flush with the table. So I'm going to drill them by hand instead. And unfortunately I don't have an 11 millimeter drill bit, but I do have a 10 millimeter one. And this has a brad point, which will allow me to center this in the hole that I made with my awl. And I'm going to wrap a piece of tape around the drill bit so that I can drill the hole to the right depth. And now I can try and insert one of these threaded inserts. And that's not going to go in. I've made this hole slightly wider just by angling the drill bit slightly. And I've also got a more manly screwdriver for the task. And I'm hoping that this thread will now go in. If this was softwood, I just would not try this. I would just go and buy an 11 millimeter drill bit. But because it's oak, I think it's very unlikely to split because it's such a hard wood. Okay, that's in. Now I'm just going to grind the head of this threaded insert to make sure that it's perfectly flush with the wood. And that looks good. Now I can add the top part of the frame. But before I do that, I'm just going to scrape away any old finish from the legs so that the glue adheres properly. And I'm just using a knife blade for this. Now I'm just adding glue. I'm going to use a clamp to hold this in place. And now I can leave that to dry. I cleaned up the glue squeeze out with a damp cloth. I've given this about 25 minutes to dry now and it should be dry enough to hold, I hope. So I'm going to release the clamp. And now I can add some screws just to reinforce this joint, but I need to avoid the threaded insert. So I need to drill a hole about there. I drilled the pilot hole, countersunk the hole, and then added a 55 millimeter screw. The next job is to cut a small groove in the table leg to fit around the top. I marked up the location where the groove would need to be cut onto the legs with a pencil. I'd use my tenon jig on the table saw to cut the groove as the kerf of my blade is three millimeters, which is the same thickness as the metal tabletop. So I could line up the blade with the pencil mark and then set the blade height to the depth I needed the slot to be, which was four millimeters. I used a clamp to hold the table frame to the jig while I made the cuts. Next I sanded the frame with 120 grit discs on my random orbit sander. There were a few blemishes and small paint marks on the legs so I just did this to clean them up and get everything nice and smooth. I applied some teak oil to the frame which really brought out the grain in the oak nicely. I 
Now it's time to see if this will go together. I screwed the tabletop to the apron rails. And then I could offer up the leg frames. Looks like it's going to go in at this end, but the problem over this end is that there isn't enough of a roundover on here to enable that to slot in place. So I just need to remove a bit more material with a chisel. I've chiseled away the corners on this piece too and hopefully this should slot in place as easily as the last one did. Now I can just add this washer to the bolt and then this nut. I enjoyed working on this project and it's a nice looking table. This project took around three hours to complete in total and my friend was happy with how it turned out, which is great.